Oh boy, oh boy. Damn, it's patch is pretty good. Here we go. Beautiful. This is Asi back. You know how to pronounce it correctly, back or back, whatever. I'll stick with back. So it's Asi back 800. Beautiful Canadian controller provided by Alan Who. Let's see. Damn, that looks good. So small with so much power in it. If I remember correct, this one is rated up about uh, 7000 watts. Means 72 volts and peaks of 19 amps, which is crazy for this size. I know 250 watts controllers much bigger than these. So clean, great. All right, and what do we have here? And this is custom-made harness, also created by Alan Hu. Beautiful, beautiful Higo connectors, which are my favorite. They're sturdy, they're reliable, they are waterproof, which is most important. I love it, I love it, I love it. This connector we will have to. This is also Higo. Let's see if it's protect. If it's uh, water protected. Um. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I thought maybe I will have to protect this in some other ways, but it feels like you can hear the vacuum when I'm opening it up. So I'm good. lower the music a little bit amazing let's see if that would be enough oh man let's say up here up to here and yeah that'd be enough definitely enough Whoa. nice 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 all right I'm gonna open up my scooter and we will start remove the old uh, controller and all the harness and wirings and install a new fresh AC back so I'm in the middle of removing the old parts and guys you just have to see the differences this is just the basic, uh, probably about 800 watts controller, uh, which was right here. I just moved the battery slightly forward. I was looking for where, where can I store, where can I attach the, my, new con my new controller. Wait, what's that? Oh, cool. And see how small it is and how powerful it is. This is just crazy. I can put it somewhere right here. Put the batteries. Oh my god, guys, this is just crazy. It's like there's no controller. I'm so amazed by the size and the performance of this thing. This one goes straight to the bin. I will probably mount this right over here. Also, because less distance from controller to the motor, less cables better performance so my first step would be um, creating custom length of uh, different cables such as uh, my sensors and I didn't have to do anything with phases because it's already right here very convenient and uh, easy to do with uh, this type of whatever that is that helps me to connect them both together Another thing I'm concerned about is uh, how much torque this uh, only one side axle will be able to handle 
Uh, I'm gonna push it slowly, uh, adding more amps every time and see how it goes. If I see that uh, my axle will start to bend my, my rear arm, I'm gonna have to create a custom axle that will also, that will be much uh, longer than the original one, so it will pop out of here, and then I'll be able to create some kind of a torque arm that will, that will uh, hold the motor in place. All right, guys, I just finished installing my AC Buck uh, 800, and this thing is just insane. I mean, look at how small it is, and look what it's capable of. Oh, I want you to see the motor. All right. Oh, I'm seriously concerned that the tire will pop off at, at certain speeds, so I don't want to push it too hard, but this thing is going to be crazy fast. Shoo wee! And now all I need to do is to put everything back, um, close it and go for a test drive. Okay.